Hello everybody and a very good evening. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us for the final show of our Wednesday. It is Wednesday today, hump day, middle of the week, six o'clock, just gone here in the UK, one o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. We are here for Beautiful Beginnings, the show, which is all about taking things, well, back to the beginning, really. So I think this is a great show, particularly if you are someone who's new. Uh, you can come in here and ask those questions you've always wanted to know the answers to. Um, if you're someone perhaps who is a little bit more experienced, it's always like a great show to kind of refresh the old uh, brain with, you know, maybe you've forgotten certain things and uh, you want to ask those questions, ask them during this show. We want to make it nice and interactive. I think over the past few uh, beautiful beginning shows, certainly that I've been involved in, we have had lots of questions come through. Um, so ask them anything that you want to ask about any of the items that we've got on the show or anything in general you want to ask when it comes to crafting get your questions in during this show also worth mentioning before we get on into it today is our declining discount event where we have got a discount it was 20 percent it is now 17 percent you have got just less than two hours to get that 17 percent off there it is one hour 57 now now um, and then come eight o'clock, the discount is going to drop to 15%, which you'll get up until midnight. Um, the code you need, discount to drop, you put that in at checkout and you'll get your discount. Obviously, as per usual, T's and C's apply. You won't be able to use it on things like the machines, new launches, that kind of thing. But be quick, the discount will decline across the day. Um, get this now whilst you can. What I would do is pile all the stuff into your basket that you want to get, then pop in that discount code, and if it works for you, amazing. Um, and also, just worth mentioning too, it's, it's a very exciting day in the fact that more of the Gemini 2 goodies have landed today. We've got the magnetic die storage stand, which has been flying out the door. Look at that, magnetic. Uh, we've also got the amazing uh, bags for your plates as well, which will fit the smaller one. We found out, find out, we found out, will fit an iPad, which is amazing. So you can take your G2 with you, all your plates, and your iPad in there as well. We've got the big bag, the small bag, magnetic die storage stand, and we've got your turntable available for you as well. And the plates are still available too. So if you bought yesterday and you're thinking, oh, I wish I bought some more plates, grab them now whilst you can. Uh, it's gonna be a great show. We've got lined up loads of demonstrations with the ribbon filling dies. We've got the amazing cut in, cut out dies. We've got the Baroque border dies. And to demonstrate all of those, the one and only, one of my absolute faves, back for, I was going to say back for one day only, but that's a lie because you're here tomorrow. It's the wonderful Debbie Fisher. How oh, are you? I'm good, Ben. I am wondering, though, how you're going to introduce us tomorrow. Or oh, actually, am I introducing you tomorrow? Well, I'm, I'm not officially on Crafters no. TV tomorrow. I've, I've been roped in at the last minute to be... So I don't know my role is tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we've got a, a big sales show. I don't know what the official title of the show is, but this time tomorrow, it was you and Craig. Mm hmm and then they've said, oh, you go on it as well. So it's now me, you and Craig. So who, wh wh what role are we each doing? Yes, we will find out. Tune in tomorrow. What role are you on tomorrow before I jump in? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing presenting. So I'm supposed to be doing your job tomorrow. Craig's in as demonstrator. But actually, that all goes to pot anyway at Cartload, doesn't it? Yeah, cause, oh, because we both just sort of flip-flop. everybody, we're all presenting it then tomorrow. I've got an idea. I, I've got an idea. Okay, you Maybe go first. Before your idea. <laughs> Yeah, I think I should just sit on the couch. No, that was my idea. And, and have the comments. What? And then I can throw to you both, my boys, my boys for the night. I think that would be good. Let us know in the comments what you think the roles will be. I think, I think the best role for me tomorrow night will be seeing as because well, you and Craig will have done these shows already in the day, so you'll be in that mould of presenter. Craig will be well into his mould of demonstrator. So I'm just kind of coming in at the last minute. So I think probably the best thing for me to do is sit on the sofa and observe and just chip in. Well, me and Craig are working all day. Perhaps me and Craig should sit on the sofa and you should then do the show and we'll, we'll just guide you. Uh, I, am still, <laughs> I am still working all day as well. I have uh, a creative morning, uh, uh, videoing and being creative. I have, <laughs> I have photo shoot and I'm doing the QVC preview show as well. 
Oh. Well, I'll be working very hard. No one will not be sat on the sofa for an hour and a half, Nicola, shut up. Um, so, <laughs> you know, maybe we just like draw straws or something or flip a coin. Yeah, maybe. it'll be fun, no matter what. There you go, Nicola says she thinks both Debbie and I should sit on the couch and let Craig do all the work. Yes, if he could bring grapes and wine, that would be even nicer. <laughs> Feed us grapes on the couch. <laughs> Your little fan. Yeah, we'll accept that, won't we, Craig? <laughs> you, uh, you tell him, you tell him tomorrow. I'll do the party tomorrow night. Um, you got a pile of cards there. Is that what we're going to be looking at today? We are. Yes, the Baroque I've got here. I want to show you just some of the samples because they're so pretty these days. Yeah. Uh, and so much you can do with them. The versatility of these are beautiful, creating really simple, stunning um, cards. Uh, but then going all out and using them on each side of your card, uh, whether you want to put them down the side whether you want to put them at the bottom and the top uh, no matter how you use these dies they're going to look really beautiful uh, love that one just creating a beautiful one there um, and then using that in the gold and the black and then I love this one look at this just using it Ooh, on the yeah. easel card at the top and the bottom it just creates something really different this is a really pretty design as well here just mirroring that design top and bottom and then the last one I'll show you is this gorgeous design which is so so lovely um, and such a simple design just by cutting it elongated across the card really love that one uh, yeah beautiful dies these ones um, and such a good price for these four piece set brilliant um, listen we've got loads of you in tonight already radical Rachel on the socials this evening uh, Carletta Morris says hello everyone from Arkansas hi uh, George and Kelly says, good morning, Ben and Debbie from Clearwater, Florida. These threading dies are so pretty. They are. Hello. Um, Nicola wants to know, George Yan, what is the temp in Florida right now? If you could let us know. Phil Watson says, good evening all. Evening all. Evening all. Evening all. Evening all. <laughs> evening all. Linda Vasco says, hello, everyone. I'm watching from a cloudy Minnesota. Go Vikings. Um, Emily Batiste says, hello to you all. You crafty loves from Kentucky. Hi. Tara Furness says, hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, Beth Metzger says good afternoon from North Dakota. Uh, wildfire smoke has returned here. Well, that is not good news. Hope you're okay. Uh, Lynn Blackledge, the hashtag go live granny says good evening from a very hot Isle of Wight. Hi. Barbara McNeil says hi everyone from New Jersey. Hi. Lynn Morton says good evening all from a lovely sunny Newcastle. What's that? Hi. Oh, Ganyam. Ganyam. Huh? Ganyam. Ganyam. What's that? Later on at 8 o'clock, I'm getting yum. You're getting yum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. That's hilarious. Ganyam. Do you know what? Do the Blade and Race. I'm not doing the Blade and Race's song because it doesn't make any sense to anybody else. Um, now, I know Lynn will get it because she's from Newcastle, but all of our US viewers will wonder what I'm doing. Go and do it because I want to hear what it is, even the, if I don't understand it. The Blade and Race's song. You know, I ran the Blade and Race last week, yeah. so there's the song. Oh, there's a song for it. It goes, Oh, me lads. You should have seen us gannin, passing the folks along the road just as they were standing. And all the lads and lasses there, and all the smiling faces, gannin along the Scotswood Road. So I have heard that. To see the blading races. <laughs> Sarah's sung it, hasn't she? Yeah. Yes, I've heard Sarah sing it before, yes. Um, that was just for you, Lynn. <laughs> Uh, Barbara McNeil says, I like Debbie's idea of how to proceed tomorrow. Oh, yes, me too. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> and, oh, she says, or you could play musical chairs and take turns doing all three roles. That's because it is going to be a sailing show. We should just maybe just move around. Yeah, let's just do that. Leave the I iPad like there. Yes. And then whoever's in that seat. Yes. We could play, we could literally do that. Play the music in between, like, yes. and we'll dance around the studio. And whenever the music stops, Love we'll be that. in that place. Absolutely. And I'll get the chance to do some more over that side as well. Yes. Yes, and then, yes, we'll yes, definitely do that. Can you put that, that in the notes for Johnny tomorrow? <laughs> Good news. Uh, that would be fun. What, what, what would the music be? What would the music be tomorrow, though? That's what I want to know. What a are we musical cartload. Love that. That's a great, Barbara, that is a great idea. We love that. We're going to do it. Although I still like her first suggestion of like me just sitting <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the note as well, Nicola, if you can, and see which one Johnny picks. He'll pick neither. 
for Rock Border Dies, four-piece complete collection. You guys loved these when we looked at these a little bit earlier on this morning on Wake Up Call. Uh, it's a 10%, over 10% saving actually, £19.99 or $23.99. Um, and they're brilliant for the fact that, do you know what, we've brought out some brilliant Border Dies um, in, in recent times, but what we love about these is the fact that you've got the two separate dies, so it gives you ultimate versatility, Debbie, doesn't it, really, that you can cut the, the base, if you like, and mm -hmm. then the, the intricate detail you can do in a different, completely different colour or like in your mirror card or glitter card, whatever it might be. And absolutely, and look how fancy just the plain edges. Yeah. So just having that on its own looks beautiful, but then to use the other one in, say, a mirror card and mm. lay that on the top is just going to look insanely good. Um, and again, obviously looking at the board this way up, because that's the way it's been plonked on there, but you know, you can use this in yep. many different ways, mm -hmm. even if you want to go down the side of your cards as well. Very, very versatile. They are all named after French regions, so that one is Lyon. This one is the uh, Dijon. Mustard. It is mustard. Only English mustard for me, though. Like the Coleman's mustard. Not too fussed about like Dijon. Mustard. I don't no. like mustard at all. Do you not? No. American mustard's all right if you have it on a hot dog, um, but I see the uh, the only hot time. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's Mickey Mouse's. <laughs> hot, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. What was that show? Mickey, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. House. <laughs> Oh, that's taken me back years, that has. Hot dog. Hot dog. Uh, <laughs> Why are you going there, Pluto? <laughs> what do you say? I don't say it again. Here again? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? I got to it again. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. I didn't really hear what you said. I, I just said, what's in the bag, Pluto? Oh. <laughs> Uh, you also got Chambord <laughs> in there as well. Chambord. 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 And then you've also got your talents as well. Um, it's so funny. I wish you could hear the chat in my ear right now because uh, Nicola's completely on board with the hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, and Charlotte's just literally gone. What, what are, are you even talking, talking about? about now? I'm not. It's not part of this conversation. Um, Jeffrey says tomorrow. But we won't, the thing is, it's a sales show, so there won't be any demos. I just remembered it. It no. goes M I C K E Y M O U S E. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come, Come inside, inside, it's da, fun da, inside. Da, da, it's the Mickey da, Mouse Clubhouse. M I C K E Y M O U S E. <laughs> now, now Rachel's singing it in the comments as well. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yeah, Jeffrey, tomorrow will be a sales type show. So as much as I would go over there and do, you know, have a bit of a go at doing the demos, there won't be any. But you say Ben doing the demo, Craig doing the critiquing, and Debbie has to do all the dad jokes and dancing. Or uh, you can watch Le Liam and Jake do the show. Well, I'm up for that. As <laughs> <laughs> it says there, I'm up for that. If you want to do that, we'll do that. That's fine. And us three will sit and watch. Yeah, on the sofa. Brilliant news. Right, uh, let us, let us get on with these Baroque border dies. Um, which one are you going to be using? Oh, we're going to be using the talents. I'm going to be using something else that's really cool. Oh, what's that? Have we still got some? I mean, yeah, this is I think we have. super exciting. Uh, if you've not seen them, we've now got them in stock. So go and buy one because, in fact, buy a couple of them. Um, yeah. Absolutely incredible storage unit that you can, it's freestanding, uh, packs up flat, uh, but it's a great freestanding magnetic board. It means when you're doing all your demos, you can literally uh, just pop your, your, your dies to them and they just stick. I love the fact you just chucked it on just there. Just amazing, aren't they? Just love them. Just, uh, just pop them on. All those little ones, you're never going to lose them again. They're not going to stick to anything. They're not going to lose them in all the rubbish. Um, it's absolutely great. So we're going to use both these dies. Now, the great thing about these, they come in that two-part system and we're going to be using both of them. So taking that first outer edge, we're going to pop that to the side and I'm going to bring in my 
cards. If I give you my card um, uh, sizes first. So I've done this one and it's seven inches by five inches, okay? And then I've done this other piece and I've done this at five and a half inches by five inches. And then I've just scored at half an inch uh, on there. So this is gonna create the front panel of my card, which will go in the center here. Uh -huh. And then I've just measured my card out to fit that, which is five by five. Now I'm gonna actually stick this into place uh, because I can stick all this down and then we can die cut around. So let's pop that on, just going to bring in my uh, tape pen. Um, I'm using the non sort of pattern side because um, I want to be able to really show case the, um, if I was to, in fact I'll bring one in because I've already cut one out, but if I bring this in, if we was to stick this on top you'd lose it because of the pattern in there. So that's why I'm going to bring in the other side which is not so patterned. Okay. And then we're just going to bring that in and stick that into place. And then all I'm going to do is, first of all, use my outer edge. Now, what you do want to do is make sure that you do it the right way round. Because if I was to do it this way round, I'm going to bring in my die because I've already cut it. Um, when you put that in, it might not fit the right way round. Oh, so yeah. you want it so it goes the right way. And I know that this is my outside edge. So this piece is the one that's going to come on the outside. So I know to turn that round and that will cut into that side. So all we're going to do is use this to go down that edge and I'm going to bring in some low tack tape just to take that down on that side. I mean, these dies would definitely be the types of dies that um, if you bought two lots would really help because then you could do so much oh, yeah, different. One. Yeah, you know when sometimes we get like sale offers and you think actually having another set is, would be really good. Mm. Uh, these are the dies I would say, um, if you could uh, you know, go to that second set, you'd yeah. save yourself a lot of time. Well, like you say, yeah, if you're matching up the edge of the card, then run it through once and you've done yeah. it twice, haven't you? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, mm. you could do it twice. I mean, obviously it's a, a bit more costly to do it that way, but um, if ever they come back and they're in the sale, grab them, then you've got another extra set, which would yeah. be great. I know we talk about that a lot, but it's such a good point, isn't it? There's a lot to yeah. be said if you have got one set. And I know sometimes in mystery bags we'll say, well, it doesn't harm to have two sets of one thing. So do look out for these. I feel these are a long way from perhaps being on a ridiculous saving or being in a mystery bag. But uh, no, it's a, it's a good idea. Well, you don't, it's very true, actually, Nicola. You do never know. Because what did we have today in the craft vault? The um, simple creator card dies is randomly thrown in there. So keep your eyes peeled. Right, just pop that through again because I've asked it to go through two pieces of my card um, we've just popped that through again just to cut those mm -hmm. so take oh sticky tape's getting sticky take those ones off there we go and then we're going to turn that round and pop that on the other side so you can see that's cut Ooh. beautifully and yep. all I'm going to do is literally trim that one down there because you're not going to see that top part that's the piece that's going to be hooked over so you yeah. can see that's taking shape and then we're just going to do our other one pop that on the other side again making sure that that V is on our outside cutting edge okay. and then again let's tape that down some good questions coming through oh love that want to Mm. Well, one's kind of to do with now, so potentially I'll ask, Sue says, I wonder how I could use one of the border dies as a stopper for an easel card. That'd be fairly uh, simple to do, wouldn't it? Yes, very easy to do, and I can show you how okay. to do that Good as question well. though, yes. Sue. I like it. Mm, we'll have a look really at it. Good question. Um, yeah, we'll, sh we'll do that in a second. And Carol, I'll ask you a question in a, in a, in a few moments' time. It's to do with um, glitter card. Well, I can ask it now, actually. Yeah, she says, when cutting glitter card, what side should the die go, the plain or the glitter side? Oh, always cut through the glitter side, yeah. yes. Um, the glitter side is where you've got your encapsulated glitter. Um, and if ever you was to um, sort of rip into your glitter cardstock, you'll find that it's got like a plastic like film. A film yeah. You wouldn't notice that with die cut and you can't feel it, but it has got a very thin plastic film. So you want to cut down into that. If you cut the opposite way, you'd find it quite difficult to, uh, to cut that. Mm. Um, so you'd cut down into it. Okay. Right, so that's our second part. So let's just take that one away. And again, oh, there we go. Take our tape away from that one. And then we're just going to trim that one at the top as well. So it's just straight down. Oh, we've got a little bit caught there. 
to just get my pokey tool just so we don't damage that bit there where we go and then let's cut through again two pieces of cardstock to create that main front of our card and then all we're going to do I've got one cut already but we will cut another one so let's take our um, decorative die and I've yep. just got some really nice uh, papers here so let's cut that one pop that one through and then we'll have our two designs to go so I'm going to pop that one back on here nice mm -hmm. you've been enjoying that today haven't you I love it I love it so much I'm going to miss it when I go home so I'm going to have to order one um, uh, in the morning oh they're telling me to steal it they're telling me to just take it Awful Tracy behavior. knows me better than that because yeah. I actually get really and I don't think for a second that anybody steals anything in the here I think accidentally people take things with them <laughs> yes you know, oh, here's a confession I need to make as well, Torn, right? People accidentally taking things, and I'm going to return them. But this is more right. I'm terrible for stealing, stealing. I'm terrible for borrowing a pen and then not giving it back. Ah, oh, you're that person. But worse than that, and I must apologise to Christina, and I will sort this out because I nine times out of ten now I bring in a box of my own lunch, right? So if I need an, if I need a fork or a spoon, <laughs> I. I no, I don't steal them. I absent-mindedly. So when I finish my salad or whatever, I, I put them in my box and then I take them home. And then when I get home in the evening, I'm like, ah, oh, I've taken another spoon. I must have five or six spoons well, no potentially, wonder, and maybe three or four forks. No wonder you and Debbie Robinson are TV husband and wife. Does she do the same? So um, when we used to go down to Peterborough to do filming, we used mm -hmm. to have a flat down there, which we all used to stay at. And I went down there once before. I hadn't been down there for a while. And I'm not kidding you, there must have been about 10 of our forks in the drawer in the Peterborough flat. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. So I bought them all back and I I gave them to Chrissy. She said, where on earth are all those? I said, well, I think our Debbie Robertson takes them to eat, up, like, <laughs> like when she gets there from here. <laughs> and I brought them all back. But I said, I'm letting you know it's Debbie, because it's definitely not me that's been pinching the fork. So we're cut from the same cloth, the two of us. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. It's just, you finish it, because nine times oh, yeah. out of ten, I eat in the green room or whatever. So you just put it in your box, and then by the time I've realised, I've got some in my bag as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try and bring That's them all in hilarious. tomorrow. We'll have a cutlery amnesty. I'll hand them all back. But they do all go miss the forks in this uh, place. All go missing. Mm. Yeah, no, You're I'm... all going to tell Christina now, aren't you? Nicola says I will. <laughs> Carol, Will Carolyn Wilson has just ordered four of the storage boards, Debbie. She says it's Christmas presents from my card making group. Oh, Good idea. what a brilliant idea. You know what? I think that's an amazing idea. I think if you've got anybody that are crafty friends, yeah. what a gift to give them. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's a brilliant shout. Love that one. Nice one. Yeah, they're so good and affordable. Yeah. Very good. I actually thought they were going to be 9.99. Well, in fact, I was told they were going to be 9.99. Oh, I really? How much they were. So, but obviously, um, yeah, obviously, someone lied to me. Mm. But I would have paid 9.99 for them. I have to be honest. Happily, yeah. Mm. Right, I've done that just a little bit wonky at the side, but I'm not too worried. All we we'll do is just grab the guillotine and we will just cut that bottom piece so it's a little bit straighter. So just take it onto there. And that's all ready then to attach onto our card. Now, we could, if we wanted to, we could um, cut those extra strips into the side. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attach this uh, to our back panel. So just using mm -hmm. that liner pen, pop that across. I mean, you'll probably be more frugal with your cardstock and gut that out. So you, uh, I could have actually cut those through the middle section. Oh, I? yeah. Didn't think about that till just then. And Did then you say you're going to show how to make a stopper with one of those, or would it just oh, be yes, a case I can. of... Um, yes, I can, absolutely. Just for uh, in fact, I have a soon. piece of card that I can show it with, yes. Okay. Good shout. Then we're just we haven't forgotten about you, Sue. Don't worry. No, definitely not. Well, I had forgot about you, Sue, so sorry. Oh, well, I, I, <laughs> but Ben did remind me. I hadn't, too. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> and then we're just going to pop our tape along there. 
first of all hold that down into the center now you can use your um, uh, grid if you want to see exactly where it's going to go like centrally but just I'm not going to worry too much we're just going to pop that where I sort of think that's central and then our middle section all I've got here is I've got a um, sentiment so let's do our sentiment I've got a bit of card to go down the middle and I wanted a bit more of a contrast uh, because we've got lots of peaches and corals going on so I wanted to pop our white just to give that a little bit of a contrast and then that's going to go into the center mm -hmm. let's just pop that down Hannah says, this is what happened at my work. A couple of months ago, I bought in a big bag of cutlery and a few weeks later, there was literally two forks and no one knows where they've gone. I was at your work uh, just a few weeks ago, Hannah. Uh, it's me. <laughs> I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring those back to you as well. No, it wasn't me, obviously. I, no, I'm a spoon stealer. I'm, I don't think I've got a lot of forks. Oh, you're the spoon. Yeah, yeah, Debbie. Well, you said you said yourself, Debbie stole all the forks previously. Well, that, yeah, but that was a. We don't go now down to the flat, do we? So. No, but she bring. She does bring sometimes bring her own lunch in, so she might well, you know, still take them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absent-mindedly, I'm not accusing her of being a thief, like because I know what I do. You see, but yeah, me, <laughs> me and Debbie. Although having said that, the last few times she's been up, she's had a jacket potato. And so, hmm, the plot thickens. <laughs> right, so I've just got one of our flower dies, which I'm just decorating this with, using our uh, 3D glue gel. Pop that in there. And then I'm going to have another one, I think, just to make that nice and 3D. Very pretty. So offset that. And then... Pop that one in the middle, just pop, oh, nearly dropped the gem. Pop the, ah, oh, it's gone upside down. Oh, man. It will dry clear, there we go, that's fine. And then I've just got that sentiment to pop in the middle. And we're gonna pop that onto the front That there. is very, very pretty. I like that. Just like so. So I'll that turn that round and show you that way. There we go. So that really sort of pretty card, but those gorgeous border dies. They'd look lovely if you did them in a mirror card as mm. well. Uh, right, let's show you the uh, stopper. Oh, so yes. let me cut this one down. Just pop that in. So we've got those sides. So let's say, for instance, let's just take that off and take this one. Now, if you wanted to use it as a stopper, I'm going to grab a scoreboard as well. The yeah. best way that I would do this is to have your base bit that would be your stopper. But instead of using this as your stopper, what I would do is uh, come in and put a... Let's do it that way around. Uh, come and put a score line where you want your stopper to be. So let's say uh, we go to here. So we've got that part. You could then use your decorative die. I've got another one here, so let's pop that into place just so you can, it gives you a little bit more of how you can do it. Yeah. And then just using tape. If you haven't got a dotty tape pen, uh, you could use your adhesive sheets. Yes. Um, but also your, just your tacky glue would work as well. So let's pop that in there so you can really see how that's gonna work. So that's beautiful on the white, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? And then because we've done that score line, let me turn that over. To make sure we pop that down. I would then use this piece, so going over like so, that then would act as your stopper. So if you've got a card, so let's just say we've made an easel card, I'm just doing this sort of off the back. Yeah. And then let's fold that again. <laughs> <laughs> that would be this your... card is beautiful. I love this. How nice is this card going to be? Yeah, Look. demo of the and day. Actually, a demo of the day. Let me get my guillotine. <laughs> At least have it to a little bit of a same shape. Yeah. Just to demonstrate like a point for Sue. Nothing a demo, is there? No. Do we do it at five? No, we need it a lot more smaller than that. So there we go. I love doing things off the cuff. Yeah. That's what we're here for, though, isn't it? You, and that's what Beautiful Beginnings is all about, showing you what you need. So that would then sit on there. So let's pop that down. 
<laughs> Nicholas says you've got to put this in demo of the show. Wow. <laughs> and it will have one vote at least from Nicola. There we go. So you'll get the idea. If I turn that round, you can see that your easel card would then go into the back of it because that would act as your stopper. That looks great. There you go, look. There you go. Yeah. That's um, how you can make it into your stopper. <laughs> Sue, just for you. Uh, Sweet Yim says, I love the sound of the guillotine. It is music to oh, my ears. Oh, me too. I love it too. Very satisfying nice. sound, isn't it? Is. Um, and on the front of forks and spoons... Hannah says, it's the forks and spoons that have gone at her workplace. I'm going to have to learn how to use all of the knives as chopsticks. Hey, if you need a hand on how to use chopsticks, Becky Swan. Becky Swan. Go back to Fun Time Friday, Friday before last, when Becky, I think, was trying to teach Craig how to use chopsticks. Uh, apparently, he was terrible. Becky's amazing with chopsticks. I could, I could never use chopsticks until I went away, and now I can use them. And we was in a restaurant, we were in, um, we were in Thailand and I was watching someone use them and I was like, ah, oh, that's how you do it. And yeah, and I was doing it and I it's, learnt chopsticks. It's like that, isn't it? It's like the, it's using that finger and those as well. Yeah, so you yeah. just press up and down, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. There you go, and that was your how to use chopsticks news. <laughs> Love that, Debbie, says Colleen. Um, these are the amazing Baroque border dice if you want to grab them. Four piece collection, great price tonight. 10% saving, uh, £19.99, $23.99 is your platinum price. So you get all four of these included with your detail die and then that cutting die to be able to place your detail over. And however you use these, that one is your Dijon. You can go that way, whether you use it on the side, whether you use it that way round, whether you use it as a decorative detail, as a stopper, as Sue's going to do. I mean, just so, so super duper versatile. Dijon, uh, that is Leon. Every time I say Dijon, uh, Nicholas says mustard. On the subject of mustard, by the way, Kirsty D says, I have English mustard, whole grain mustard, Dijon mustard, and American mustard in my cupboard. There's only me that likes it, lol. Most is used in cooking, though. I'm the only one that eats mustard in my family, Kirsty D, actually. Um, no one else likes the mustard, but I only have... Oh, no, actually, hell, like, we've got English mustard and also some American mustard for hot dogs. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. <laughs> uh, that is your Chambord. And then you've got Talence as well, uh, which is the one that we were just showing you there. That is all of them for $19.99 or $23.99. Uh, ben says, Marley Nickel, I live in St. Petersburg, Florida, and my thermometer says currently 91 degrees in the shade. Ooh. 91, that must be late 20. It must be late 20, I would say. Um, what is 91 in Celsius? I don't know what the maths is, it's complicated. Fahrenheit to say, just put 91, we'll find out, uh, is 32.77 Celsius, it's hot basically. In, that's it's in the hot. shade, don't go in there. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Colleen says, love that Debbie, never seen a stopper done like that, says Robbie Hedrick, I love it. And uh, Amelie Batiste says, I love that stopper with the Baroque dye. Um, and uh, Rachel says, I've just brought up pasta with hot dogs for dinner. Well, there we go. Boom. Next, ribbon threading. Let's have a look at these dies. These are amazing. Uh, a little bit more uh, potentially intricate, They're certainly smaller than the original ones that we brought out. I love them for the fact that these can be your sort of focal point for a particular project, or if you just wanted to add a little strip, a little border with some uh, ribbons to finish off a project, these are absolutely perfect for that as well. You're going to get uh, six different collections it's actually eight dies in total because again we love to give you the versatility with these dies so if you just want to cut straight into your card slot you can if you want to cut out a panel you can and uh, once again if you want to place this particularly uh, somewhere on your uh, card stock you've got the two edges there as well it's one die two dies three dies within each of the sets and you get some really really fantastic uh, intricate dies with these as, as well so this one is your alluring Aztec you can see there, you can thread straight through the center uh, to create a really wonderful effect. Great dies to go for if you have got uh, lots of ribbon that you need to use up, like lots of scrap busters as well. I think these are great. You know, if you've got kind of ribbons you've not full lengths or full rolls of, these are perfect sort of size for getting rid of that ribbon and using them up. Charming Hearts is your next one. This is the Entwined Elegance. 
Then you've got the beautiful decorative flourish. I think this potentially is one of my uh, favourites. I love that modern style of the geometric on the modern geometric. It looks like what? It looks like a face. It looks like space. That doesn't look like space. The other one did look like space earlier on. It did. I'll show you a picture of what I mean later on, then you'll go, oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Ah, oh, dear. And then you have your delicate butterfly included in there, too. £39.84 or $50. Normally $41.94 or $53.70. But you'll then get your discount within Club Inspire. So $31.87 or $40. Uh, Tracy says, I must have brought about 10 forks from my high school that I borrowed and put in a lunchbox thinking it's mine. I'm glad it's not just me. You guys are making me feel better about myself. Um, it is... Uh, Absent-mindedness, that's what it is more than anything. Shall we have a look at these ribbon threading dies in context with Debbie, who's got some cards? Absolutely, yes. So, in their simplest form, cut them into your cardstock yeah. uh, and put a piece of ribbon through. And oh, it's going to look absolutely amazing. Uh, really, really beautiful. Uh, put it in a different place. So, love this one. This is actually cut out of your cardstock. Um, and then Fred puts um, uh, darker cardstock on the back. So, it gives it that completely different look. Um, another one down the side, but this time... I'm using that uh, edge of the die to create that really pretty design. Uh, what about putting them diagonally um, across? Oh, I yeah, I never is... think about that, isn't it? Weird? Yeah, you, you just think... think because they're straight, yeah, yeah. horizontal, vertical. vertical, but actually, you can put them anywhere you want on your card because they are just that edge. Um, this is cutting it out completely, which is what we're going to show in our demo. Um, love this design, just think that is really pretty. And again, using it in the middle of your card like that, just creating that bit of a background. Around, um, using it on your card, a little bit like we just did with the Baroque um, dies, uh, but using them on your card to create that piece that goes over the top. And then I absolutely love this um, one. I think That's it's clever. Such, so clever. It's just got this piece on the inside, which is amazing. This is Sandy Brooks that's done this one. Um, that's a just beautiful design, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, so we're going to be creating a border, but we're going to be creating it by cutting uh, the whole border out. So, I've got my little magnetic What you got stand. there? Just my <laughs> magnetic stand on here. Yay! Um, does it show that I love this magnetic stand so much? Um, it's just, yeah, I, I really do. I love the fact that as soon as I've got something to create with, um, I just put my dies on there. Do you know what I think it's shown as well today? And it's shown it off perfectly because you guys are very busy when you're demonstrating that mm. side. And in the midst of demos sometimes, you do lose a die. I you haven't lost a time. single die yet no, today. You've been so organised. And everyone knows I lose my dies. Yeah. I'm always losing dies. So, I just, this is why I love it so much. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Yes, yeah, clever. Um, right, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut our whole die piece out. So I'm going to use my die first of all, my piece of card. Going to use that die and we're going to just place that on our cardstock. And then I'm going to pop my edge to the side. Uh, now I'm going to cut it all out in one go. If you didn't want to do it all in one go, what I would suggest is cutting out your middle part and then cutting your two side pieces out. But I'm going to place both of these on at the same time. And we're just going to literally find that edge of our dies and then pop them in. So as soon as I've got that one edge, I'm just going to pop that down. And then on that side. And then our next one, pop the other one in. And as long as you've got them held down with your... Um, uh, your Low tack tape, tape. Yep. Um, you're absolutely fine to cut them out but make sure you have got them held down because you don't want them overlapping. And what's the worst that can happen, Ben? They will overlap and put a dent in your die. Okay. They won't ruin your die. Mm. And then just to keep that secure, I'm literally just going to place one across the middle and then we can pop that through in one go. So let's just grab my board, take that up and run that one through. If you need low tack tape, by the way, our essentials bundle tonight is rather good. So you get low tack tape, tape pen, die brush tool, die brush tool, head replacements, and some centuripal. Oh, I've got it here. I'm all organized tonight, Nicola. I'm well organized. I've got everything laid out exactly where I need it. I've even, in readiness for the vote in an hour's time, got the card that Debbie made earlier on. Uh, wow, I am you all, are organized. I'm all ready and raring to go. Loads of love coming through as well, by the way, for the magnetic um, stand. She says, Vanessa says, I love the stand. They are great to keep hold of your dies when crafting. Exactly right. Keeping you organized, that's the point, I think, isn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. Such a cool idea, isn't it? Mm. And it does, you know, it's, uh, there's very few things that come out and I think, how has this not happened before? Um, and this is one of them. How have we not bought out a stand to put your dyes on before? I mean, it's such a simple idea, isn't it? Yeah. But so effective. Yeah. That's a really good point, isn't it? And sometimes the best ideas are the simple ones. It yeah. was like when we did the Simon storage box with all of the compartments in it. It's like, how have we never ever thought of that before? I know. It's ridiculous, isn't mm. it? Yeah, we are fools. We are but fools. when you think of how long now dyes have been about, yeah. um, and we've not thought before to do that, um, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. So you say, how many times do we hear that people have lost a dye or got yeah. one missing from a collection <laughs> and they don't know where it's gone? Yeah, why have we not just thought, oh, I'll I don't just know. have a stand and uh, put them on? So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to use my stand. Pop my dyes back there you on. Go. Love it. Love it so much. There you go. Out the way, out of my crafting. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, right, now what we are going to do is let me find, I've got one here, so I'm just going to pop that in. Um, now I'm going to do this a little bit different. So let me bring in some darker cardstock so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so you can, if you um, use your ribbon, you can go in and out and use your crisscrosses in the middle, um, which makes it look a bit saucy, doesn't it? It's quite a sexy, sexy dye. Um, but I am going to do saucy. it where we're hiding um, <laughs> the actual uh, pieces. <laughs> love that they all burst into song in my ear. Nicholas just started singing the. Uh, it's the stripper, isn't Strip it? Tease, the, stripper the sexy song. <laughs> Not sure if we should be doing that. That but, um, reminds me a little bit. Do you remember the Morecambe and Wise sketch with the, yes, with the, yes. uh, the breakfast? <laughs> oh, no, Charlotte's going to be going, what's who are yeah, they? Who, who's Morecambe and Wise? Oh, she knows who Morecambe and Wise Have you seen that sketch well. when they're doing... The, making the breakfast of that yes, music, yeah. Yes, the, in the covers. Exactly da, da, it, yeah. da, 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 very funny. Very funny. <laughs> very good. <sighs> yeah, so even though that's a nice pattern, I'm actually covering them up just to get that really uh, nice sort of um, uh, weave going up the front. <clears throat> It's quite a fun thing to do this, isn't it? But it just it takes, a, it takes a little bit of time, it I suppose, isn't it? takes a little bit of time, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's quite therapeutic, though. I could sit here threading ribbon all day. I, I'm sure I've asked you this question before, and I think I know the answer, but I'll ask anyway for people who perhaps are new. Have you got a lot of ribbon in your craft room? <laughs> <laughs> do you not know me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a naughty hoarder of ribbon. Oh. Um, yeah, I have just drawers and drawers full of it. Um, and I promise myself that I'm not going to buy any more until I've used some. And then I'll go somewhere else and then I'll get another 10 loads. <laughs> Although, I have to say, what was I making? Um, what have I been working with? And I couldn't, f I didn't have the right green and I couldn't believe it. I was like, how have I not got the right green ribbon? Um, so I had to, um, oh, I know what it was, some new dyes that are coming. Ah, uh, oh. yes. care to uh, divulge? No, 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 I'm not going to tell you anything. No, no they're just very pretty, very nice. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, um, I was working with them and I'd used a particular cardstock in a green and it, I didn't have a, a ribbon to match. Huh. So, uh, yeah, it was very annoying. So I just uh, got some white ribbon and coloured it. The colour. Oh, there you go. Yes. Good use of our alcohol markers, of course. Absolutely. Uh, your sparkle pens as well will colour your ribbon. Oh, you get, nice. You get sparkly ribbon as well. Actually, that's better than the alcohol pens because it leaves your ribbon soft. Alcohol pens leave it um, uh, like, like as if you starch them. Oh, does it? Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, sparkle pens are amazing. Uh, the best way I would say to colour your ribbon as well, especially if you want to put it in a bow, is do your bow first and then add your alcohol. Because okay. it just, if you just hold your pen in place, the alcohol just seeps through. Yes. Lynn, Lynn says, I threaded ribbon on the craft along. Yeah, yes, I used a pokey tool 
says Lynn. Ah, oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Right, there we go. So we've got our beautiful ribbon. I'm just moving it over a little bit so we've got that even amount of gap. So um, just because I could have sort of done it as I went along, but it's just as uh, easy to just pop that into place. Pull that and then just to neaten it at the back, all I'm going to do is uh, we don't need all that ribbon, so I'm just going to cut some of that off so it's not too bulky. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use just our tape pen, uh, just pop that on the side like so, and then fold that back on itself. And then you'll find that that will just um, oh, it's just got some threads there, so let's cut them because they will come through and do the same on this side, just fold that over. And that gives us our beautiful ribbon. But actually, what that shows us is two ways. So if you were mm -hmm. to thread it and hold those, if I turn it over, you can see you're getting the crisscross pattern. Oh, yeah. So if you did it the opposite way on the right side, it would just get the crisscross pattern. And then what I want to do is I then want to, because you can see through there, I want to make it a little bit bolder. Uh, and we're going to place that onto here so we've got that darker card. So all I'm going to do is use some of our um, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll, 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 hey! <laughs> Was it, I bet it's been ages since you've done that, isn't it? I don't really sing it anymore now because no, it's, it's sort of gone. I think you're, you're the only one who carries on the legacy, I think, now of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that right? That's very funny. Uh, apparently Craig got called out on it and then someone said they get annoyed by uh, Back to the Future, which he started. Uh, oh, did oh. Craig start that? I didn't yeah, know. that was his, Back to the Future. I still think that's funny though. But, no. I threw the, I'm sure that was his. But I still find it very funny. But I, I find most stuff like that funny. I'm quite childish. But I don't get bored of things, as you found out. Me too, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. I, oh, I'd carry things on for years. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Home on a roll is going to be my legacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, now, what I've done this time is because we've cut out our beautiful panel, I've then created a fold-back card, so yeah. a half-fold, gatefold card. Uh, I've got some of my nice turquoise. Um, this one, I think it was the Celebrations 8x8 um, uh, uh, pa um, pad that we did. You remember the celebration? Everyday celebration. It was quite a thick. Yeah. Yeah, and like it was a an eight by eight one, pad. Wasn't it? We had it in one of the boxes, I believe, and then they they'd done the pad to go with it. One of the um uh, the year of craft. Yes, yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, so it was in one of those. So uh, that's where that paper come from. But you'll have all your nice pat yeah. pattern papers, whatever you've got in your stash. Oh, we've run out. We to the silver bit. Oh, yeah. Look, silver there. When you see silver, it's a gone, gone. Shadai says, thank you, for Debbie, for the four, the foam and a roll. Thank you, she says. <laughs> four now, isn't it? Four. four. Um, and Cindy says, Ben matches the paper pack next to him. I'd not noticed that today, but thank you. We yes. Know, yes, the first thing this morning they said to you, you match the pack shop. Do they? Yep. I do not remember that. Although he wasn't listening at all. He wasn't listening lunchtime when we were talking about cake. He wasn't listening when we said his shirt match. Ben, I don't think you really take any notice of us. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> That's what uh, Laura says about me quite a lot, actually. She'll, I'll ask her something. She's like, we had a massive conversation about this the other day. Like, Did we? <laughs> you never listen to a word I say. What? <laughs> yeah, it's not just us yeah. that, yeah, you don't pay attention to. <laughs> Typical bloke, I think some people would say, wouldn't they? <laughs> We've missed your singing, Debbie, says Lynn. The uh, hashtag go live granny. Aww. Yeah, I mi I've missed you. Yeah, I've missed you. I've missed your dulcet <laughs> tones. Missed a good, a good sing along. Not, not done one in a while. I do love singing. I'm not very good at singing, but I, I do love it. I think you're better it. than you think you are. Well, mm. I don't know about that, but I do like it. I was singing really loud coming up yesterday. What, what were you singing? Because it, one of my favourite songs what is, is um, Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Oh, yeah. And I love it. I and when you, I'm, too late. Yeah, that's it. And whenever I'm out, I always, I'm proper like head banging and swing my head, shaking my head. Um, there's plenty of videos of me doing that dance somewhere, but um, I just love it. So I was singing to that. Yeah. Have you seen the movie Sing? Yes. When yeah. um, it's the, who sings that one? Is it the pig that sings it? Uh, oh, it's the two pigs, isn't it? It is the two pigs, yes. Yeah. 
uh, it's such a good movie that I do like that song actually I'm not a, I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan but I no, do like that neither, song but yeah I love that song yeah it just makes me feel really happy and then they played it at my daughter's wedding as well and I did my old head banging again <laughs> let's see you head banging <laughs> you don't head bang while you're driving do you no 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 no. I was like I was like this <laughs> while I was driving <laughs> have you ever been caught out at traffic lights where you've been sort of singing along to yourself and then someone's looked across I don't know because I never really notice other people <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. So we're uh, doing that beautiful turquoise, that navy, uh, and that border just makes uh, such a, a lovely decoration. And actually, uh, if you was to, um, uh, I'm thinking of how you could make a little pocket on the front and use that as a bookmark. So you could actually gift give that card um, and have that as a bookmark by not attaching it to your card. So that would be really cool. And there we go. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Let me show you um, all of the dies that you're going to be getting in your ribbon threading collection. Uh, and all of these. Uh, $31.87 platinum, $40 if you're shopping in the US. They are um, multifaceted and um, multi-versatile, very versatile for the fact that you do get six collections, but it's actually 18 dies because you get your main detail die and then those outer dies as well. So you can pretty much place your um, die wherever you want it to go, whether you want to cut it in, cut out a whole panel, go vertical, go horizontal, cut it on the edge, cut it on the diagonal, which I think we were re uh, reminded of as well. Um, so I think it's just a great collection. If it's versatility you're after, then this is a great set to go for. And, and again, a great way to dip your toe in the water. If ribbon threading is something that perhaps you've not tried before or found, you know, a little bit of a faff, I think this is a really manageable way to be able to do it. Best value for money is in this collection. I'll show you all the different designs that you're going to be getting. If, however, you decide you do just want to dip your toe in the water and perhaps get a couple of these, they are all available for you individually. But the best value for money way to go is to go for the set. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Decorative flourish is in there. <laughs> Alongside that, it is your modern geometric. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked across the other side of the studio. And Demi was doing a full on sussy dance. Uh, and then you've got your delicate butterfly in there as well. 41.94 or 53.70 usually today 31.87 or 40 dollars if you're platinum don't forget as well on the website right now uh, pretty much all your accessories have landed for the g2 so you can get those bags which we've been showing you today you can get your hands on the turntable for the gemini 2 you can get your hands on debbie's favorite new item which is that magnetic die storage stand it is brilliant uh, loads of you have said how much that you've absolutely loved it if you haven't yet got yours feel free to multi-order i feel like it's going to be one of those things uh, which you will love and come back and buy more of if we've got it in stock it's been flying out the door today one other thing quickly to show you before we give you a chance to check out your basket is our hero tool tool this is a great little bundle because We've been working with a lot of intricate dies today, uh, so wouldn't it be nice to have a set of tools which is going to make working with intricate dies easy. Now, uh, this is the uh, die brush tool, which is going to be great for uh, removing all the bits and pieces from your dies and also from those intricate die cuts as well. There's your tool, ergonomically designed, with all of your bristles there built in to get all of those bits and pieces out. Comes with the foam as well and handy for the fact that we, in this bundle, give you your replacement brush heads as well. You get three of those. You won't need to use them initially, but kind of let you know when you need to change your head on your toothbrush similar sort of thing over time those will become a little bit frayed but you've got the replacements there so you need not worry we've also got some of our low tack tape again really really handy to have for when you're running your dies through your machine keeps them all in order keeps them all in place three rolls for you there which i think is fantastic plus i can't remember who it was yesterday he says we haven't seen the centura pearl snow white hint of silver in a long time well it's here today uh, within your intricate tools bundle you're going to get 10 sheets of that included alongside those items and last but by no means least we are also giving you uh, one of our tape pens now it, i suppose it would have been made even better if we'd have had one of our I know, I know Nicola it would have been made even better if we'd had the dotty tape pens but as Nicholas just said to me we don't have them Ben so I'm sorry about that but we don't have them they're out of stock so what we've done 
um, what we've done is popped in a glue tape pen uh, for you as well. So all of that is included for just £12 or $20 but your hero tool is here for 24 hours only. So if you like the look of that, do grab it because it will not be here at that price tomorrow. It will be, if you try to pop all those into your basket, 21.95 or 36.87. So a great way to save yourself a bit of dosh this evening. Uh, lots of love coming through for that last project. Um, Roseanne says, I've just seen Sing 2, very enjoyable and cute. Yeah, they're both really good films. If you've got Little Ones, really are. Ah, Sing 1, brilliant. Sing 2, also good. Uh, yes, great for the Little Ones. Dana Walter-Hill says, the turquoise looks exquisite with that polka dot paper. Love your card, Debbie. Uh, and um, Amelie Batiste says, Debbie has made fantastical cards all day. She has made fantastical cards all day. We're loving it as well. It will be your opportunity uh, in around about mm, 50 minutes time or so to get voting when we do the vote for the demo of the show and then the vote for the demo of the day. Obviously there wasn't a card in the middle show because it was craft bolts, so it was very much salesy salesy. However, we will have two votes, votes to do in the next hour. Right now though, your chance to get to the checkout. Uh, if you've seen something you've loved on this show, get it checked out. Don't forget to check out all of those G2 goodies as well and use that code discount drop to see if you can get 70% off items in your cart. Uh, it will drop to 15% come eight o'clock. So by the end of this show, uh, the discount will decline. So let's give you the opportunity to come back and we will come back with you in about three or four minutes. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us 
is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family welcome back everybody thank you for uh, sticking with us tonight here at crafters tv less than an hour to go do, do you know what? i don't know where the day's gone today it's flown over it's been a fun day hopefully you've enjoyed it you've been along for the ride who's bought what today who's shopped for what i know a lot of people have been buying the um g2 goodies and a lot of these magnetic story stands have gone but uh, let us know uh, beautiful beginning second hour anything you want to ask we had a good couple of questions in the first hour but anything you want to fire our way um you know Kind of back to basics questions just ask that's what we're, that's what we're here for uh, that's what uh, bb is all about beautiful beginnings uh, next up a brilliant deal on your statement cut in and cut out dies 24 pounds or 32 dollars platinum 15 percent saving today these are brilliant real kind of statement uh, pieces really easy to use dies as well um, whether you do cut them in or indeed uh, use all of the dice to cut them out thing to say is if you go for the bundle you will get two dies which you cannot get individually which are your sunflower and your swans so if i show you those two uh, first of all the boop <laughs> the the graceful <laughs> the graceful swans which uh, we were talking about these earlier on i think uh, these look fantastic would look great on a gift bag with something expensive inside and actually it was the boards <laughs> uh, these would actually look very nice foiled as well we had praise foil pre uh, foil press masterclass very recently and i think these would work absolutely beautifully alongside that but you've got those two graceful swans Nicola, I can hear you saying and laughing, but you've like you've turned me off again, so I can't actually hear what you're what you're saying. So uh, I can hear you all laughing away in there. Uh, there's a <laughs> there's a sunflower, which again you can only get in the bundle. Bundle. I do like it cut in, but I think this is a great example of actually. Well, you can say I do like a bundle. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate bundles at school. Oh, I used to love it. Did you? <laughs> It was all right if you were on the top. Yeah, if you were on top. If you were not getting bundled on. I know, I was always the quick one, so I'd always get away and get on top. <laughs> Bundle! Um, no, I was going to say was, I, 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 I like it cut in, but I, I, prefer, I prefer this one cut out. I think you get a lot more detail, and I think it's a lot more beautiful that way around. I think that's the one that certainly stands out more as a cut out rather than cut in. Then you've got your butterfly meadow. A beautiful scene would look quite nice i think as a um as a shaker mm, essentially very nice uh you've got another beautiful butterfly which did you use that earlier on in the demo i you did, did didn't yes. you mm. the bold butterfly which was on was that on wake up call this morning yes wow this is another great one the regal rose said this earlier one i think the rose and the sunflower are my two favorites here um i really like that cut out element that topper i think is so um colorable i think great paper piece as i said earlier on i love the demos jam was doing yesterday with those bigger floral outline dies where she was creating a background cutting the die cut in black and then just piecing it over the top i think it's so effective and so simple to do um i really like that and then lastly in this set i know um one of debbie's favorites actually which she's got on a tp card over there is the little birdie we'll have a look at that in a second but if you want to pick up the full collection 24 pounds 32 dollars you can go individually again but remember if you've got your sights set on the sunflower or the swan you have to go for the full bundle but actually at that price not too bad is it really tonight not too bad at all let's have a look at your little birdie over there on the tp card yeah, that's super cute so 
cute, isn't it? I love this. And this has been cut in and then it's been cut out. So it's been uh, layered over the top, which gives it this sort of 3D effect in the front. And it's got some nice texture. So a really nice sort of uh, feel card, this one. Uh, I do love a TP card. Um, and I love the flower, like you said, Ben. There's so much you can do with it. This is such a pretty design uh, because it's cut into the card slot. You can see there. Yeah. Just to make it really attractive to look at, where whichever way round, even if you're looking at the back, that is just uh, absolutely stunning. So cutting them on the edge of your card doesn't mean you can't then replace back those extra pieces. Um, looks amazing. Absolutely love that one. Um, the sunflower I think is definitely my favourite. I'm going to be using this next as well. You can mm. get in this bundle. Uh, it's such a beautiful design. Uh, I know Nicola. She loves the swans. They're her favourite. Uh, really beautiful. Uh, Has that just been coloured there on the beak? As the what the beak's been coloured. Yeah, yes. it's really effective. Yeah, you can see the uh, yeah the beaks and beak. the black on there being coloured. Yeah, in. on the beak. Yeah, look very effective. <laughs> Sorry, I think you said in my ear green. I think you said green. I said no beak. 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 Mm. Uh, and I love this because the actual design has been cut out the front and then placed into the background. So you're getting that sort of splash effect all the way through and inside the butterfly. Um, and then the other one here, I just love uh, a diorama card um, or an aperture card or mm. a um, theatre card, whatever you want to call them, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, right, now we're going to be using ours to create a shaker card. So let me just find my pot to pop those in and hold that one down so let's grab a piece of card and i'm going to grab some of these uh, and of course i'll bring down my little uh, stand here which is hey. my, um, my dies in there so we can take those off so i'm going to use this one first of all to cut out the actual aperture inside uh, no i'm not not going to do that sorry uh, yep. i'm going to use my uh, die first of all just to cut this one out but i am going to cut this one out of here um, so let's cut those two out bring in my platforms and we can just uh, get those cut. Now, I don't want this one to slip because what I want to do is I want to use this as my topper for my card. So I just want to cut that shaker element out. So it's up to you. It doesn't really matter which way round it goes. You can then decide whether you want it one way or the other. But we're just going to centralise that into there. And I'm just going to put just a tiny piece of tape to hold that in place on the edge there just so it doesn't go anywhere uh, and then just cut this one out so I don't need the outside edge because I want to cut the whole thing out so we're actually doing two things here we're creating the aperture uh, which is the cut out part uh, or cut in part should I say and then we're creating the outside cutting edge with the main uh, body of the die uh, so it's creating then your cut out part and your cut in part so bringing those ones out let's take those out I can then switch them out because I've cut this one out, which is going to create that inside. Just taking it out really gently. I'll turn it upside down so you can see. Um, it's got all those intricate pieces in there. So just taking that one out. We then want to take out all those pieces. Just drop that lightly on there just so it takes them out. Make sure the last, let me find my pokey tool, just uh -huh. those last bits. I'm taking them out, Ben, because if you leave them in, yeah. um, it might then just uh, not cut through your next piece of card. So just make sure you've got all those pieces out, because then what we're going to do is take this one and we're going to cut that in. So it's just a case of working out where it goes. Um, like, so. oh my goodness, look at that. Have I done that? You got it first time. Oh my goodness. Have I? Uh, Is that right? Uh, <laughs> I think he has. So just gone, you're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. I think it is. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that a great shape as well if you wanted to make like a, sort of like a comic book kapow? Oh, bam. yes. Just the actual yeah. main thing. Yes, mm. absolutely. Um, and then let's do this What one. are the chances of you getting that right first time? I know. Wow. You're a wizard, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Charlotte, I love you. You're so funny. <laughs> the heat's gone to Charlotte's head, she's just saying. She's lost her mind She's lost her mind. Right. I feel a bit like that actually today. Do you, I feel like I'm flagging a bit now, I've got to be honest. It feels... I'm yawning loads and yeah. I do apologise if you catch me because uh, I think it's my first full day back of doing a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> 
after being poorly um, and I'm really feeling it now. We've been sat out <laughs> in the sun quite a bit today as well which I think probably hasn't helped but uh, only I did this afternoon I didn't earlier did you this evening? Yeah I sat out in the sun this evening yeah, ah, yeah. about an hour or so Ooh. catching some rays. Look at that beautiful beautiful Oh, sorry, if the bosses are listening, of course I was in here, not in the sunshine, <laughs> on a break. Are you keeping all those bits? You'd keep them potentially, wouldn't you? You'd cut out and use them as little shakery bits. You could, but I wouldn't. Shake a card! <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. We're going to make a shaker card, but actually, what I have forgot to do is put my shaker elements in. Oh, um, could have used those bits you just threw away. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I laugh. I missed it so much. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot them. Is there any more going somewhere? There must be. Oh, yes, I think there is. Or oh, I've just seen some. Oh, we've got sequin dies on the show. If you want to cut out some sequins. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I've got some, so mm. it'll just be. I'm just. Going All right, yourself then. Yeah, I've just. I found some at the side. These oh. are win winter's towels. Nice. Um, thank you for letting me know that, though. But rather than cut some out, I didn't realise we had the sequin dies on. I can yeah. use them. I can still use them. Buy um, one. Buy two, get one. Now, with the middle section, um, if you get your die again. Uh, just pop a little piece of brown card in the middle and then all I did was fussy cut around it. Mm. So it's really not difficult to do. It literally is just following the little um, uh, stamens that are in there and just follow it all around. It doesn't have to be perfect because all we're going to do is pop that onto here. Oh, yeah. um, so And that is going to be the tricky part because you've got to then find where you're going to put it. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that first time, am I? So I'm trying to look for where I think it might... Oh, look at that! Second time! You're a wizard, Harry! I'm a wizard, Harry! <laughs> I'm not even going to move that now. Like, I don't want to move it. Right, I'm going to go... I'm going to go up there, like that. And then we're just going to put some dots over the top. I'm not going to chance that to find that again. There we go. And then... Did it go there? <laughs> I knew if I moved it. Um, no. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh, blown it. Hang on, hang on. It needs to go around to the right a little bit, doesn't it? Towards. Did it? I thought I just went like that and then went like that. Went like that. Why are you talking like I, that? I don't know where I'm talking I went like, like that, that. Then I went like that. Because it's because I moved to Norfolk. <laughs> you been to Norfolk? Oh yeah, you moved to Norfolk. Moved now, to yeah, because you're gonna be talking like that soon, aren't you? Yeah, I will. I talk like that. <laughs> I know you when you talk like that. Maybe you should do the rest of the show there we like go, that. There, there you we go. go. <laughs> my lover. <laughs> Did I say my lover in Norfolk? Or, or you live near Norwich now. <laughs> you need an orange? What was that? What? No, I live near Norwich. No, oh, you Norwich. live near Norwich? Norwich. No, no, I said. Norwich. Do they say my lover in Norfolk? Or my, my lover? lover. You're, my, you're my lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your lover. <laughs> um... You all right, my lover? All right, my lover? I don't know, I don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you. Ah, they hilarious. say it down South Warrington in Devon. <laughs> they go, all right, my love? All right, my lover? All right, my boot? <laughs> my boot, my yeah. Boot. My right, my beauty, my boot. My beauty, right, my, boot. my beauty, my boot. You're at my boot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. I went into sort of, um, what's the, um, uh, not the clampets, the, um, uh, oh, what's the, um, Oh. What? The, no, the, um... <laughs> I didn't mean to say. <laughs> no. Jessica. Um, Jessica? Like the car and the... Oh, the clampets? No, not the clampets. What was it called? What was that present? Oh, Dukes of Hazards. Dukes of Hazards. That's it. Daisy Duke. Daisy Duke. It. Yes. <laughs> the clampets was, um... What was that TV show? The clampets. That was, um... No, listen to a story about a man named Jed. Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies. Um, try and get this now. Stephen oh, says... Yeah, neither of them, they were like... Mm. Well, I wasn't around for the first run of the Beverly Hillbillies, just to put that out there. It was on reruns. I was not in the Beverly Hillbillies before you say that, Nicola. Uh, Stephen says, Debbie and Michelle will be talking the lingo soon. They will be talking the lingo. They'll be going, all right, my boo, all right, my lover, I all right, know. my lover. I, can't, I cannot work this out. Ah, uh, oh, is that it? Yes. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, no. Yes, yes, yes. Is it? Yes, 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 yes. You're a wizard, Harry. 
Yeah, even if we can't fit it on perfect, it's fine. Mm. Uh, Kathy Lee says, Debbie's hands are very pretty today. What a beautiful nail colour. Oh, thank you very much. New nails? Uh, yes, new nails. I had them done yesterday because, honestly, because I've been here and come back from holiday, I had not had my nails done for six weeks. Aye. And they'd grown like half the way up. <laughs> they were really bad. Uh, so I did get them do done yesterday. And I've got them done because Al bought me a ring and I've left it back at the house today. So you uh, bought you what? Right. Bought me a ruby ring. And it does, yes, it does go on that finger. Oh. It, no, I am ah. not engaged, no. Um, but funny enough, I thought it's probably it's probably a good job that I didn't um, wear it because everyone would go, oh, he's fine. Oh, yeah, all the rumours would have started then, Although wouldn't I they? I am going to wear it tomorrow because I just forgot today. Uh, but it was the only size they had, so and that's the only finger it fitted on. Ah, I see. And I, I said, oh, do you mind it going on that finger? It's just, it's not a big rock, but it's a ruby with small diamonds around it. Aww. It's a little bit like um, Princess Diana's ring, but without the diamonds on the stem going round. How so. very lovely of your yeah. man. And because I've got a ruby, that's why I wanted a ruby. Oh, lovely. Yes. Right, so I've just edged that in some uh, straw bow, um, and then the piece that we straw bow, <laughs> a straw bow, um, then the piece that we took off. You're right, that's a great superhero um, cutout of that uh, sunflower. Uh, but what I have done is I've done the same thing with the straw bow, and then I've just stamped uh, "Birthday Love Sent Your Way." So I've just uh, stamped that onto there. Uh, so we've got our two pieces for our card, and then I've got all my pieces here yeah so we've just got our beautiful I mean obviously I had to use the sunflower of course um, because it just matched beautifully with what we wanted and then I'm just going to all the way around here just pop our acetate and that's going to encapsulate all of our sequins must say hi to Lynn Harvey, who's joined us. Hi, Ben and Debbie and the team, the wonderful hi, social Lynn. superstar, Rachel and everyone. Sorry I've not commented until now. I've been watching on my big TV, but I wasn't logged in on my tablet. Um, and Tess says, I haven't used my cutting dies yet, but I have some thoughts. I appreciate the demos again. And um, Amelie Batty says, I've got a question. Uh, we sort of covered this, but it's a good question to ask again. Being that these dies are cut in, cut out dies, can I still use these with the foil press? Could you foil these if you wanted to? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They'd be perfect for foiling, actually. Oh, imagine this sunflower foil. We're saying then the swans as well would look. Yes. Go oh, but this, yes, sorry, I'll go back to what I've just, yes, sunflower. That would look amazing. Yeah, it would. Gold foiled. But yes, the um, the swans would look lovely. Yeah. Especially if you've got any weddings to go to this year, wedding stationery. Mm hmm That would be nice. Very posh. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so let's just pop that. We're nearly running out of our foam there, but we'll pop that around the edges. And then we'll just pop one more there. I'm surprised we've got many people on. Are they not? Are they not doing the um, filming for the um, Academy of Colour tonight? It's a live show next door, isn't there? Yes. For the yes. Um, Academy of Colour, is it the duo? Oh, it's the. Is it at the back? Which it's one of the pencil sets, isn't it? We've got a healthy audience tonight. Got a lot of people watching on um, Facebook and YouTube. I would let us know. Are you um, multitasking? Let us know if you're watching, Leanne. And you are watching us as well. I'd love, 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 to, uh, love to know. Lynn Morton says, Debbie sounded like him off Time Team. And I, I didn't understand that reference. And then Rachel says, Phil Harding. I don't know who that is. What's Time Team? Time Team. Oh, I forgot my sequins. <laughs> oh, no. How could I forget my sequins? Maybe yeah. because you didn't have them in the first place. But you never kind of expected to put them in oh. there. Forgetting to put them in. Oh, time team! Is that the one with Tony Robinson in it? Baldrick. And who am I like? You're like Phil Harding. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Phil Harding. Yeah, I guess he must talk like that. Then I don't know. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I don't watch Time Team. There's a character on Postman Pat that says that. No, there isn't. They're all from. They're all from. Yorkshire, aren't they? You're thinking of Ted Glenn. Oh, I was thinking Ponty Panty, but oh, that Ponty was... Oh, Ponty Panty. Uh, that's Fireman uh, Sam. Fireman Sam. Oh, man! Oh, man! 
Mummy's little darling. Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I know people can move, but I don't think there is someone from Norfolk in Postman it. Pat. Okay. Postman Pat is in Greendale, isn't it? Which is, they all do all like that in Postman Pat. You've got Ted Glenn, the handyman, do us like that in <laughs> <and> Postman Pat. <laughs> Greendale, I'm sure it's obviously supposed to be sort of set in the, like Yorkshire Dales, isn't it? Postman like up, Pat, up north. Postman Pat, Postman York, Pat. Yorkshire accent. You're yeah, from, oh, Norfolk. Norfolk, from Norfolk. is like, bit, uh, what is Postman Pat? Postman Pat set between Cumber and North Yorkshire. And Postman no Pat yeah. is that morning. My cat, early <laughs> in the morning, morning just, just as day is dawning. dawning. He, picks he picks up, up all the post bags in his van. <laughs> Forgot it then. Uh, Lynn Morton wants to know. She says, sorry to ask. What you want to know then, Lynn? <laughs> she says, sorry to ask, but which is the best black ink pad for stamping everything for alcohol or water based? But we've got different ink pads, haven't we, for whatever your medium you're using? Yeah, if, um, if you're not sure, I would always say to heat emboss and just use a black pigment ink pad. Okay. Which then, if you're heat embossing, you can use water, you can use alcohol, whatever you use on there. Um, but if you're using a specific um, colour, I would say um, you need to uh, use your alcohol proof uh, for your alcohol markers or yeah, these are your Vaness ink pads um, and then I would use your um, waterproof for any of your watercolours. Okay, good question. Thanks yeah, for absolutely. answering. Right, so we're just popping our uh, beautiful papers into play. And then we could put our shaker card element on there. What a beautiful set of papers that is. We've got how beautiful so that nice, collection is. They? Yeah. So nice. So we've got our stamp, which we're just going to place on the inside of our card. And we're going to pop that in the middle. And then that one is going to go on the front. So we've got our... Ooh, which one looks nicer? The top of that looks nicer, so we're just going to pop that at the front. So I'm just going to put my tape on half of this one. Yeah. Because we just want that to stick on one side. So we're going to pop that right centrally into the card. And then all I've got to finish that off, I've got myself a nice bright ribbon, which we will pop just on there. And then there we go. So we've got our beautiful sunflower shaker card. And then with our gorgeous, and use that so that one that comes out would uh, look amazing. Uh, we um, we made it look nicer now. It's got its shaker elements in it. <laughs> I think if you could have a smile in the card, it would look like that one. Yes. On sunflowers, beautiful flowers. So lovely. Mm. Yeah, so lovely. I really love that card. It will be up for your vote in around about, not long now, 20 minutes or so. Vote for the demo of the show. Uh, and of course, demo of the day vote. There will be two votes in the demo of the day because the middle show craft vault, we did not do a demo because we were in the vault. Quick look at the statement cut in, cut out dies. Six piece selection, 24 pounds or $32. That's the die there. If you want to recreate Debbie's card that she just made, cut in, cut out. Look how beautiful that is. And then, you also got the what noise does a swan make then what noise do they make Honk. that's a goose surely isn't it Honk. well i've been chased by a goose or geese before i've um <laughs> sorry just i record a conversation we had buzz <laughs> about the monkeys <laughs> yeah, debbie are you gonna can i can we talk about it in a minute yeah <laughs> so I don't know if you, any of you saw, so I don't know if you know, Debbie's been on holiday and uh, there was a great picture of Debbie, um, was it in Bali? Uh, no, the, it was in um, uh, Bangkok. Bangkok with a monkey on her shoulder. Oh, no, it was in Bali, I'm yeah. lying, it was in Bali. Sorry. Monkey on her shoulder and I thought, like, oh, that's brilliant, look at that, it's got a, a Debbie, like, you know, taming the monkeys and I said to her in the break, I said, oh, love that picture of you, like, you know, the monkey whisperer, ooh, she was like, oh, funny to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Attacked by a monkey. That wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it actually ripped my top. <laughs> my, my top was actually, I had leaves and stuff on it, so I did say maybe he thought you were the jungle. 
I just love the way, it was only like a little monkey. <laughs> well, you, you said you were trying to get into this like certain part of the, the It was, a, it was the a temple. And you stood by a gate and all of a sudden she just said, <laughs> Like and there's this little monkey there. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Like that. And Debbie's like that. <laughs> Hello, little monkey. No, and then the monkey's just gone. <laughs> like that. It probably went. <laughs> and he said, it said to her, like, don't, like, smile. If it, if it, if it come at you, don't smile, because if you show teeth, then they're going to get more angry. And don't look at it. So you, did you say you had to sort of, like, stand there whilst it was, like, I grabbing was your leg? I held the gate. I tried to hold the gate <laughs> so it could attack me fully. And then I was behind this gate. I didn't even look at it, and it was clawing at me. And then it stopped for a little while, and I said, how is it gone? He went, no, he's just sitting there staring at you. <laughs> and then he went for me again and bit more my clothes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Love now because I survived. <laughs> oh dear. If there's anyone that I know who, uh, who something like that would happen to, it would be Debbie. It's so funny. But the funniest but, thing, when the monkey jumped on my shoulder, I thought Al would put his arm around me. <laughs> so, as, as I just stood there, and I went like that, and as I looked, Al was walking past me. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and this monkey's on my shoulder. Oh, my. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Oh dear. I just love the fact that it was such a lovely picture. I was like, oh, that's so nice. And then the next video, no, we've got attacked by one just after that photo. Brilliant. Well, I was Hello, a little monkey. monkey after it jumped on her shoulder. I was like, oh, I'm the monkey whisperer. <sighs> Swans. It's me and animals, so isn't it? Honestly, I've got a story for every animal. Yeah, you have. They, and they, they usually end badly as well, so. Um, butterfly meadow. Butterflies. Uh, Regal Rose, <laughs> she's still chortling over there. And last but by no means least, your little birdie. £24 of $32. I think there's a great point for us to have a short break. Uh, love the sunflowers, such happy flowers, says Lynn Moore. Make me smile. And Debbie's done it again, says Ellen Hayes. Beautiful sunflower card. Let's have a break. When we come back, uh, we'll recap on some of the hot deals for you. We will also bring you the votes for the demo of the show and day. Uh, but if you've got stuff in your basket, we'll come back in about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what she do? She looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day here at crafters tv it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, 
really skilled at what they do. And they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crofters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Um, Kathy Lee says, just watching you whilst I work my technology job. All of you wonderful people keep me company whilst I work. Thank you. Uh, you make my day bright and cheerful. Aww. Uh, Lynn says, uh, love sunflowers, such happy flowers. Melanie Lee says, cracking me up. Lol. Uh, and Lynn Harvey says, Debbie's laugh is so infectious. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be a bit quieter because apparently they can hear us next door. So no, so no mucking about in the final half of the show. No nonsense. No nonsense. Uh, <laughs> 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 Already failed that task. Uh, the Baroque border dies. We're going to show you, I think this will probably be the um, last one to squeeze in amongst all the votes and whatnot. But you guys have loved these today. It's been such a great day. Ribbon threading dies you've loved. Those um, cutting cutout dies have been amazing. And of course, these Baroque border dies, they are brilliant because of course, you've got the ability to be able to create your border and then you can add your detail on there as well, individually. So. Uh, cut your uh, border. I love the fact that we showed you and demonstrated earlier on how you can like create a little stopper with these as well. But you cut your border and then you can add your layer of detail afterwards. So you can choose the um, the, the, the type of cardstock uh, that you can you can use the different cardstock over the top. Uh, so whether it be glitter card, whether it be a mirror card, um, or whether you just want to kind of, you know, just have a complementing colour there, it would work absolutely brilliantly. And whether you go that way, that way, that way, um, it, they just work beautifully. You're going to get four different sets, eight dies in total. So uh, Dijon. Mustard. You've got your Leon or Lion. I really like that one. I think as well, like, I mean, you don't, don't always be sort of like falling into the trap of thinking, oh, well, if I use this, I've got to use that. That's just a nice uh, border to oh, use absolutely. without, isn't it? You know? Yeah, you could use that on so many different things. Decorative, you could cut them out and create a frame. Yes, absolutely right. I'm seeing a monkey there now after all the monkey talk. I'm seeing a monkey sat oh, on yeah, top I of there. Oh, yeah, I can see a monkey in yeah. that, yeah. Oh. It's got a hold of your leg. <laughs> and, then, and then you've got your talents as well, which we saw a little bit earlier on. In fact, that was that? No, it wasn't. You used a different one on the uh, demo for wake up call earlier on. Which one was that? It was the Leon. So yeah, all beautiful dies in their own right. $19.99 for the set, $23.99. Um, but let's have a look at these in action. Um, which one are you going to be using? Dijon. Dijon, mustard. Yes, absolutely. Um, right, I've got a nice little uh, stepper card here, which we're going to create. Um, and actually, I've just... 
I don't know what I've done. I might have to just create another one. Um, what I've done is I've created my stepper card, but I've lost my bit of card that goes on the back, but I oh. can create another one. Uh, but I've done this by 11 inches. Uh, you want to actually do your uh, other piece of card uh, 7 inches by 5 inches. So we've done this, yep, yeah, so, uh, so 7 by 5, but we've done this one at uh, 5 by 11, scored at 2 inches and 4 inches. Okay, yeah. so that creates that stepper. And just while I've got that um, in my mind at what size to create, I'm just going to do my 5 by 7 inch. Um, that way I know that I've got my uh, background there. So let's do that five and, or seven should I say, by five. So that just then create, oh, I've looked, I've chopped into my top. What? <laughs> Actually, luckily, it didn't just stop at the end, but I had a guillotine chopped into my top. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, look, I made a rookie mistake. Look, fancy doing that. Oh, no, I haven't. It's OK. We're OK. We're all good. Okay. We're all good. Just ignore me. Ignore me. It's getting late in the oh, day, Oh, it's getting it? late, isn't it? Should right. we just call it a day? So <laughs> the, re <laughs> the reason I've done this, because... Oh, it's just bringing my magnetic uh, here. here we go. I'll take these off here. Uh, the reason that I've done this is because I want to create this onto the top. So I know that my die is going to stand proud on there. So yep. I know that's the way round I want it. Uh, we're going to pop this on our background. Um, uh, and you're going to cut that piece out. So that will come on to there. Let me find my boards and take my piece of card and low tack tape. So let's just take those ones down. Again, doing that in a couple of places and we're just going to run that across the top. Uh, just roughly seeing by eye that's going across. Uh, you could measure it if you've done it on your um, uh, glass cutting mat. Just make sure to pop those there just to stop that from curling up and then run that through. Now, because we've got the power of the Gemini and the uh, pause button, as soon as I know that's gone through, like there, I pause it and then it will come back out. So that will just cut it. It doesn't need two cuts, but it means don't have to put the whole thing through. So you can cut these relatively quite quickly. So that's gonna cut our first one. Then let's take that tape away. And then we're gonna do the same, but this time we're gonna reverse it and do it on the bottom half of our stepper. So this piece is gonna come down here. So that will create our bottom stepper. So let's turn that round that there and then again just a little bit of tape to hold that in place like so oh just across like that making sure that the top bit doesn't go too far over and then hold that one down and then just run that <coughs> one through as well uh, these border dies are just gorgeous says Brenda Munro uh, Lynn says, Ben, did you just do sign language? Thank you. Yeah, I did. I did nah, thank you. I did, <laughs> did a little bit. You haven't bit. done that for a while, have you? Well, I, 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 I still try and do a little bit now and again, but I did a class at the back end of last year, and I'm still trying to sort of keep it going. I need to go back and do it again and um, try and remember all of the things I learned. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's really good. Because really I suppose good. it's like anything. If you don't keep it up, you mm. probably forget it quite easily. Yeah, I can remember. I can remember quite a lot of it. I still remember. I could finger. I know the alphabet still in sign language, so oh, I could okay. always. I could always finger spell everything if I did forget all the words. It'd just be a very long conversation, spelling everything <laughs> as I went along. Mm. But no, very interesting. Yeah, I wish I had time to do more. Actually, very interesting. I follow this guy on Instagram. He does like a new sign every day, so that's what I try and do oh, every day. Is okay, learn like a, cool. learn like a new sign with him and try and refresh all of my. Um, all of my signs which I learned in the first place. It's handy to know, isn't it? It's now officially recognised as a language because there was like all that, um, there was all that um, uproar, wasn't there, a while back that it wasn't officially recognised as a, an official, like an official language. And they passed, yeah, they passed something through the, the House of Commons like in the last couple of years. Wow. But more and more people that. I think are doing it now, and mainly thanks to the lady who was on Strictly. Rose Ailing Ellis. Oh, okay. I think okay. it's become like a lot more, um, a lot more people are looking into it, which is great. I think, it's fantastic. Gets it more recognised, doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm really surprised, because I would have just assumed it was another language. Mm. So and recognised as another language, because it's quite skillful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. 
<laughs> very skillful. Only very skillful people can learn it, like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, I've used the new, it's the first time I've uh, actually uh, used it, um, is the Bohemian. Um, goes that way. Uh, papers. I love this paper pad. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to do it because you've just seen how I cut out those, but pop mm. those two together. This is going to go in the background, but what I want to do is then use this again to cut through the top. Mm. So cut through both pieces at the top. Uh, do the same with the bottom piece. So just have another piece like that. Turn that round uh, and cut through that bottom piece. That will then create your two pieces like this. So you'll get your two pieces here and then that one we've created this one so you can see both those points up there um, now you could if you wanted to slightly offset that so you've just got that nice shadow going around the edge and then we're going to use our dies uh, to go in the middle there which are going to just work beautifully uh, with that but such I mean look how that decorative edge just really makes that it's, it's just stunning yeah uh, right so let's stick all these pieces together so let's pop those to the side and then we'll have these ones Right, dotty tape pen. There we go. Just on the edges. And then we'll just use our normal one to go around. I don't think the dots worked on that at all. Huh. I didn't really like that one. All right, let's pop that in. So Beautiful. very, very slight edge on that one, like so. And I've just left that border at the side as well. Yeah. So it just gives it a little bit of definition. Uh, and then with this one, let's just use a piece of card so we can use that on the back. Which one is this again? This is the Dijon. Oh, Dijon. Yes. yes. It's a really beautiful it one. It is. Well, they're all beautiful. Mm. I mean, if you're going for all of them, you haven't got to choose, have you? And uh, and actually, it's not a bad price, is it, for all four? Oh, Licker says, if you Ooh. had to pick a favourite, which would it be? I think... Hmm. It's a difficult one, that one. It is. They're all Leon, very different. Leon, probably, for me. Which one? Ian? Leon. Oh, Leon. I thought you said Leon. Ian. <laughs> not Ian. Leon. It's Ian. <laughs> Leon's pretty. I also like the talents, which I think you used earlier, because it, it sort of looks... I don't know, well, actually, a few of them look like a crown. They're it's all beautiful. All lovely, yeah. Yeah, can't pick one. <coughs> <laughs> Nicholas says, what a cop-out that answer was. Hey, you guys will have to pick very shortly, because we'll be doing all the votes in just a mo. So uh, get ready to get your votes in for the demo of the show, demo of the day. And then we've got the last one, which is going to act as our stopper. So mm -hmm. by having all of these different cards, um, it makes um, it a lot more rigid at the bottom. Yeah. So you can then it'll enable you to stand it on that step. I think my dots must be quite strong on there. All right, let's pop that onto there. And again, just very slightly offsetting that. What we'll need to do then is just trim that base piece, but that's not a problem. You can do that in your guillotine or just use your scissors. Go across there. And then we'll do the same. Pop this one. Put it on the side. And I'm switching backwards and forwards only because I don't like wasting my doctor tape pen on the normal strip. Yeah. And then that way we can pop this one on the bottom. Lovely. Interesting, Sil says, we have BSL interpreters in our hospital for the patients um, being requested more and more for appointments. I can understand that, actually. Mm. Uh, like, really important. Um, and Lynn says, um, Ben, I thought you were. I think it should be taught in schools. Yeah, I, again, I think it'd be a really handy thing to, to learn, wouldn't it? Or like at least an option to kind of learn it. I think languages are really interesting. I really, I really wish that I'd concentrated a bit more with my languages at school. Cause I did, I did French and German, and I, I can, I can get by in French. All my tenses and stuff aren't particularly good, um, but I wish I concentrated more and like became a bit more fluent in French and German. I literally can remember like a few words of. German's um, a very hard language to learn. German's really hard. Yeah, it's because of the grammar, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you know what it got me confused? Is all the different words for the, depending on like how you're Die using it. Die is one of their main D. words for the. D-I-E, yeah. D. 
You have Dare, D, Dame, Dame, but they actually, Das. Like, if you, like, and the only reason I know that is when I was working in Germany once before, yeah. um, I put the wrong German, tape then. pen on, uh, they had the Simpsons on and they were singing Die Simpsons. Ah. <laughs> and I said to the woman, why are they singing Die Simpsons? She says Die is, um, is French for the. German. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And different parts. So if you go to like the north or the east, they do, their grammar's very different. Mm. Oh, yeah. And of course, it's the same with French, too, isn't it? So obviously, we have the, don't we? And then, of course, like in well, a lot of the languages, like French, you have le and la, don't you? Yeah. And un and un with feminine and masculine words. All very, all very confusing. Very confusing. Right, so just got a nice sentiment that we're going to pop on to the middle section because we want the dyes to do all the work. I've then used my uh, vintage butterflies just to cut some of those out. So I always keep them in a stash close by and I thought these worked really well with the papers. So let's bring a couple of those and then I've just got a few gems to finish off. Lovely. Lovely. Where has the day gone, Ben? It has flown over. I've had a thoroughly enjoyable day. Looking forward to tomorrow. What shows have you got a crack on tomorrow, did you say? Um, Craig's, yes, so I'm presenting all day. Craig's got a Bohemian craft along, actually. Ooh. Yes, which will be amazing. Is that the first with no, the... No, second. So we've got wake-up call, then the craft along. Oh, is that the first with the Bohemian collection, though? I suppose it must be, mustn't yes, it? Yes, first yeah. craft along, How exciting. Yes. Yeah. And then... <laughs> and then tomorrow Craig. evening, I think it is still a cartload show, isn't it? I yeah. think in name. You've just been added. Um, but I have been added to the show, apparently. I've been requested to join you guys, probably to keep you in line and <laughs> under control. If you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm looking forward to that. First time I think I've ever done a sh show with three of us. I can't yeah. recall a show. Maybe where we've done that done before. That. Well, we, well, we've done shows before when we had like the um, like the craft factors, and then you know, with the third party shows. But normally on a third party show, hmm. I did it. What did I? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, apparently I don't remember that. When Joe is here, I did a show with Joe and Sarah. Apparently. Oh. I do not remember that. What did I do? Just sat on the sofa, did I? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Nicholas has gone classic Ben. Sat on the sofa <laughs> the whole time. Oh, that's why he wanted the sofa job again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let producer Johnny sort it out tomorrow. He's, in, he's the big man in charge tomorrow. But it'll be a fun show. Um, and, and so I believe there'll be loads of great deals coming up for you tomorrow as well i think it's sort of a celebration of the reopening of the uk warehouse as i understand it but we'll know more tomorrow anyway it's going ah, to be a great day that makes sense it's going to be a great day right this is there pretty. we go let's put our gems on and there we go we, oh we haven't put our back in on our card have we silly me silly me so what i am going to do we're going to just pop it to here this is why i've done it a bit too long yeah and i'm going to score a line in there so let me just get my scoreboard Score a line in the top there. It doesn't matter how big or small that is because actually it's just to uh, so it will stand. And then we'll cut it when it's on. So pop that into place. This one will then act as that sort of uh, part of your card that opens. Um, and then we're just going to put our tape along the top there. And then on to there. And then just pop that into place. And then all I'll do is I'm just going to use that base cutting line to cut. You could use your guillotine, but just for quickness, just pop that in. And then that way you've got your stand at the back, you can see there. Um, and then the front. There we go. Marvellous. Absolutely love that. Before I just go through all of the dies that you're going to get in the deal, shall we get the vote going for the demo of the show? We'll give you a couple of minutes to vote on that, and then we'll do the vote for the demo of the day. And it will be only two votes for the demo of the day, because as I said, we didn't do a vote uh, a, a demo in the middle show. So, Paul, you've been busy over there. Uh, four to choose from, yeah? 
There we go. Yes. Yeah. So number one was our uh, ribbon thread. No, it wasn't. It was our baroque, the first baroque one. Uh, there we go. Pop that there. Number one. Number two was our ribbon threading. Number three was our cutting uh, sunflower. And number four was our baroque. So one, two, three, and four. Get hmm. voting. <laughs> it's time to vote. I will go for. I really like three. Mm, I like three. Uh, it's not our decision, though. It's your decision. You've got about <laughs> two minutes. Quickly recap on the uh, Baroque border dies. So you're going to get all of these. The, the one that uh, Debbie just used is the Dijon, which is this one. So if you do just maybe, you know, you like that particular demo and you think, oh, I'm going to recreate that. I only want to go for the one die. That's the one that you want to go for. When I say one die, you get two dies, don't you, of course. Um, so you get your die to be able to create the border and then the detail die in there as well. So that is your Dijon. Then you'll get your talons, which again, I think is beautiful. Lots of snippability with these as well, potentially. Or like Debbie was mentioning earlier on, you know what, if you just decided to use the intricate part of the, the set. You, know, you can make your own frames with these as well, uh, which I think is super cute. That's Talon. So this one is your Chambord. Turn that around again. Uh, looks a little bit different that way up. Uh, and then this way you have your Leon in there as well. So all four dies, eight dies in total uh, for £19.99 or indeed uh, $23.99 if you are in the US and you're platinum. Uh, Stephen says, spoke Arabic, French, and Jersey French. Oh. I was born in St. Saviour's in Jersey. What's Jersey French? <coughs> Interested in that. <laughs> Nicholas says, is that easier than normal French? Because um, she's going to learn it if it is. I found French easier. I found French quite easy to learn. Spanish, I wish I'd done as well, because that's a bit spoken everywhere, isn't it? Um, right, waiting for the results to come in. What would you like to look at whilst we uh, wait? The most popular items of the day have been, um, unsurprisingly, the G2 accessories. This one, you guys have absolutely loved, the magnetic die storage stand. Just... As we discussed earlier on, this is one of those things where it's so simple. Why hadn't we thought of this earlier? How many times have we, and, and this is us and you guys as well, talked about dies getting lost. You know, you're in the middle of a project and you've got your die in front of you and all of a sudden you've looked and you think, where's it gone? It's ended up on the floor or in the bin or you've accidentally chucked it away with you know, bits of scrap paper. This is the way to ensure that that doesn't happen again because whatever dies that you're using, you can pop onto your magnetic die storage stand and they're there in front of you on top of your Gemini 2, on top of your machine, just to the side of you on your craft desk. And I love the fact that this one folds flat for you as well. So, I mean, w would you be buying multiples of these to potentially load on your dies, store them away, and then you can actually just take collections off I the think shelf? I that's a brilliant idea as well. Yeah. I think especially for your dies you use the most. I have a folder where I use all my dies the most, and I think they would be really good just to stock up in there. Uh, the other thing is we all craft, and then maybe in the evening, and we still want to finish that project the next day. So these are great for storing your dies on and not having to put them away mm. and know that you can find them straight away in the morning if you start crafting again. Yeah, it's a great idea, um, and like we said, just so, so uh, simple, but very effective. This has been the biggest seller of the day so far. I think people have been multi-ordering, um, and as you can see, you've got plenty of room to pop on uh, lots of different dies, whatever the project might, might be. And I think, you know, case in point right there, look at how small some of the dies are. You'll have dies like this in your craft room right now, I'm sure, that, you know, you worry about losing. This is the way to ensure that you don't lose them uh, and that you've got them there right in front of you for wherever you're crafting. Thing. Um, it's a really, really fantastic bit of kit at a great price. It's uh, £7.99 or $9.95. Platinum price, £6.39 or $7.96. We have also got the bags. Now, the big ones. They're brilliant, aren't they? I love the brand new colour that we've got on the Gemini 2, and that, of course, is replicated in your bags. This is the big one for the 9x12 plate. I, I won't take these ones out of the, um, the packaging here, but you can see, if I just fold the sides of the packaging in, they fit absolutely brilliantly into your bag. And actually, 
with plenty of room to spare. Uh, you've got that neopene, uh, neoprene um, uh, effect on this, so it, it, they're going to stretch for you. So if you want to pop more items in there, uh, absolutely you can do. Um, and you know, tools you can pop in there, more of your plates. Um, your cardstock as well, so great You know, if you want to pop um, particular projects in these bags, absolutely again you can. Got your zip to go around the top. Um, and an absolute must have, I would have thought, if you want to grab yours, seven pounds 99 for the um, bag if you're a platinum member eleven dollars 99 if you're shopping in the US and you are platinum and then we've got your small this must be this sorry I'm just keep looking at my tablet because uh, this must be a tight vote um, for the demo of the show still got the day to go as well oh exciting to wait to see to that come in we've got about uh, ooh, only about four minutes left in the show we have to be quick uh, the nine by six plate storage bag six pounds 39 or ten dollars 36 once again uh, just stores all of those plates absolutely brilliantly for you um, and again you know you can pop in more than the six that you've got we've popped in all the plates there so you've got your um, white cutting plate both of those in there you've got in there your uh, magnetic shim you've got in there your uh, metal cutting plate you've got your rubber embossing mat um, and also your plastic shim in there too uh, and they all fit in perfectly plenty of space to fit in more should you wish six pounds 39 or ten dollars 36 is the price on that one once again um, so there you are I'm just wondering if my tablet has um, stopped working because we're running right really close to the end of the show uh, and I haven't got the vote in yet. Hmm. Let me have a look. And Debbie's just having a little uh, check to check, check the tech. I feel like my tablet might have um, jammed. Shall I just pick a winner? Um. Let's have a look and see. Three. Oh, uh, my tablet has blown up then, has it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep, demo of the show, number three. Oh. Oh, we, oh okay. Oh. Sunflower. Three. Yes. My so favourite So keep, keep that one there. Keep that one there. So then vote for demo of the day. You better buy this because mine's just not working. Number one. Debbie's uh, mate from Wake Up Call this morning using the Barat Border dies. Or number two is the sunflower so one or two you now have literally got about a minute uh, to get your vote in on that one um just whilst we're doing that again busy day tomorrow of course it is going to be a wake up call with craig and debbie uh, and you're this side just remind us aren't you tomorrow i am yes i am that side tomorrow um we've got the bohemian collection on so we've got the um uh Craft along. <laughs> I had to think what it was called then, the craft along. Uh, yeah, we've got the craft along with the Bohemian, so we'll be looking a bit of the Bohemian collection uh, and some of those cartload deals as well because it truly is going to be an uh, amazing cartload, uh, especially with Ben. I've got my boys in with me tomorrow night, so it's going to be amazing. Boys in the hood! I've got something exciting tomorrow as well. Have I? What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, yes. No, I'm only joking. Uh, we've got a QVC preview for you as well tomorrow, uh, which is 1 till 2.30. Uh, so you can catch that tomorrow as well. Uh, thank you for all of the, um, the comments coming through. I think I'm seeing them now, I think. Uh, Kathy Lee says, I've ordered two of the dive magnetic stands. They are awesome. Fantastic idea. Brenda says, bought two of the magnetic stands in the Gemini 9x6 bag. And the winner of the demo of the day... It's not you. It's two. <laughs> it just fell down that card as if it knew that it wasn't going to win. <laughs> Which one was two? This one or that yeah, one? Yeah, that one. This one. Yeah. This one. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much for the um, brilliant show uh, today. Great shows with Debbie. Um, if you want the declining discount, by the way, which we've been doing right throughout the day today, you've got two minutes left to take advantage of that 17 percent discount it will automatically drop to 15 percent as soon as we go off air um, so do use that discount drop is the code that you need to use but what a great day thank you so much uh, everybody uh, sorry for the disjointed end of the show technology is blown up but we're done now we got through it which is the main thing massive thank you to all of the team today thank you to Debbie it's great to have Debbie back Aww. thank you to Rachel and Susie and Tracy and Nicola and Charlotte I will see you tomorrow with these guys on Cartload that is going to be some fun and also for that QVC preview show and make sure you join Debbie and Craig in the morning for wake up call uh, to catch all of the 
previews ahead of what's going to be a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us. Uh, remember, if you want to catch the uh, tail end of Leanne, she's on as well. But we will see you tomorrow here on Crafters TV. Bye for now.